Hey folks, welcome back. It has been a while. Over the past several months, I've been on this journey to level up my design skill set. So I've taken various Figma and UI design courses, including Shift Nudge by MDS, workshops by the talented designer Joey Banks, but most recently, I just completed Misco's Figma and UI design course. Now this course is the one that stood out as one that I wanted to review for you guys. Because as I thought about my audience, you all, I thought it actually would be perfect for many of you who are trying to enhance your design skill set. It's certainly something by now I am very comfortable and very eager to recommend to my own mentees that I work with. But wait, hold on. In this video, I want to give you my full and honest assessment, the good, the bad, everything in between, and also comparing it to the other courses that I've taken. I also will add in some of my perspective based on my experience as an in-house and freelance designer for startups and enterprise companies. So I've been a designer for over eight years now, and I'm currently a design lead at a high growth startup. And still, I really love to, and I almost make it a requirement for me to take some time off, whether it's official or not, to just continue learning. Just take some time to take courses or read or something like that. And I do this for three very humbling reasons. First, I don't have a visual design or graphic design background. Everything that I know is from bootcamp programs, um, self-education, hands-on self-education, and good old on-the-job trial and error. So for me, there's a part of this where it soothes my imposter syndrome, but also every time I do this, I'm really impressed with how much I come away with in terms of lessons and, and areas to progress. Reason number two is that as I've been getting more experience, I have been getting too rooted in my own workflows and missing out on newer, better, faster ways to use the tools. Look, I know that tools change all the time, but it is kind of true that the better you know your tool, the more creative you can actually be with some of the problem solving that you do. Because sometimes you might limit yourself based on how you understand your tool to work. So as I watch people do work, or as I take some of these new courses, I'm always coming away with new lessons to incorporate into my work. So reason number three, and this one is the biggest reason, and this one involves you all. Over time, I realized I was losing touch with my mentees who are actually new to the design space, new to these design tools. I used to say stuff like, look, if you know one design tool, then you know all of it. But that wasn't helping anyone. I wasn't really doing my job as a mentor. And not only that, um, I wasn't really staying on top of how a lot of these tools were evolving because I was kind of on this like weird hide horse about tools. And I was starting to lose my ability to effectively explain how to use these tools, especially to folks who are completely new, my mentees. As I mentioned at the start of the video, I took a few UI and Figma courses. And after taking all those, Misco's class stood out as the one that I wanted to review for you guys. And it really comes down to its value. So uh, Shift Nudge by MDS and Joey Banks' workshops are top notch courses, like really goes into the theory, really has this element of like creativity on top of some of these like varied projects that really helps you, you know, practice it. However, these are really expensive. Well, really expensive could be relative. Maybe you have the money. But when I think about the mentees that I work with, like I feel like this, these are pretty expensive. Um, so Shift Nudge by MDS, it was $2,000. I got some of it subsidized by my work, but most of it was out of pocket. And Joey Banks' workshop, mostly through work, but it was like $600. So like these aren't things that I would you know recommend first. Um, and thinking about you all, I would recommend exhausting all other options before doubling down on some of this stuff. However, Misco's class is $300. Misco's credibility, his teaching style, how practical these lessons are, and the full comprehensive package of like starter templates and resources that you end up with afterward. I just felt like this was an amazing value and I feel really good about recommending this. So I went ahead and secured a 10% discount for you all. The link is in the description below and at checkout use the code StuartKim10. Now to help you make the best decision for yourself, the rest of the video is going to be the review on the course. And I'm going to include aspects of the course that might not make this the right one for you. So let's get into it.
First and foremost, and this sort of goes without saying, but I just really want to stress it. You want to learn design from someone who has real world experience and a proven track record. Because design isn't some head knowledge, it's very practice, it's applied, it's, it's almost like a trade. And this is even more crucial because you're going to be spending your money on it. So I can't stress that enough. So that's the first place I would start. So as far as Misco goes, I've known about Misco for over seven, eight years now for a pretty long time because I first signed up to his newsletter when I was thinking about transitioning into design and I got a recommendation from another designer to do so. And this was way before he started his YouTube channel and he's pretty prolific now. Um, but even at the time, he had an online community called Designership. And I was very impressed with the sheer number of people that was a part of the community at the time. So I was engaged with that community for a little bit at the beginning. I'll talk more about that in a little bit. But he's been around for a while and uh, he's created communities, he's delivered products, he's done a lot. Don't let how young Misko looks on YouTube fool you. He has tons of experience, like over a decade. I think actually like close to 14 years of experience. He has created his own design agency and have sold it. He has launched products for companies small and big. He's even founded companies himself. So he's the real deal. He has a lot of real world experience, not just design, but even skills and roles adjacent to it. For me, this was so important because I would want to take a course that was really rooted in real life scenarios with like really practical practices, takeaways. And for you, like, I would want that for you too. You don't want some theoretical mumbo jumbo. You want actionable insights you can action on and practice immediately. Misko as a teacher, the first thing that comes to mind, and I don't know if it's his Australian accent or what. Welcome to the Figma Moss class. He has this like really nice, like dynamic and engaging style. And even in this virtual setting, like through the video, it kind of has this like nice, like he's there with you kind of vibe to it. And it might seem like this isn't much, but like when you're staring at a video on your screen this whole time, like it's like what, 10 plus hours of the course, it really, I think does matter. And you know, it just adds this like nice little personal touch that's rather enjoyable. And it, it, it helps you kind of stay with it. And not to mention, um, I love the fact that he calls us beautiful designers. Hey there, beautiful designer. So Misko first and foremost is a very seasoned practitioner and that comes through in the course. But you could also tell that he really deeply understands like the why behind all these things, all these design things that you're doing. And why I mentioned this is that a lot of courses I find that sometimes don't strike the balance well of like the theory with the tactics. And it can really take away from the course where you might over index on one or the other. But Misko, I felt like strikes a really good balance where he goes into just enough of the theory where it really matters and quickly switches over to the practical parts like how do you do it why do you do it this way and things that are important and not important he's able to really filter that that out for you based on his experience because yeah everyone kind of does it differently but there's things in practice that don't translate well from like textbooks that you might have learned from misko also instinctively shares his tips and tricks of the in-betweens of some of these design skills that he's explicitly teaching and what i mean by that is like sure there's modules of how to use the tool but he also goes into how do you manage feedback and how do you structure your figma files so that you could do this well and version control or how do you set up your figma file in a way where it's going to be super efficient for you to you know uh, share it with an engineer or even have like uh, walkthrough presentations with your team or stakeholders and all of these things are often things that are taken for granted or it's kind of, you know, left up to look, it's kind of your personal style, but this course is about design, so I'm not going to teach it. But he kind of in a really nice way strings it all together. But still, the main part of the course is about learning the tool. So all of that put together just really made for a nice like walkthrough of what it's like to be a designer. So Misko's course is incredibly comprehensive and really hands-on at the same time. It more or less treats you like a designer and kind of runs through this massive client project together. And it's centered around using the tool most effectively for all the key parts of a designer's process. So you'll even start with something as mundane, but so important as like file setup. 
then to how do you set up your files to do requirements gathering really well how do you also do it in a way it, it's optimized for presentations later of course design system creation to like mock-ups and then um you know interactive prototypes so you get the whole view so it's really nice way of grounding all the different lessons about the tool in like an actual you know designer's process as if you're doing a project for a client and i think the last thing i'll share about this is that like each of these modules like key modules have starter templates and after you do the work and complete it you're left with this like nice artifact that serves as this like resource or reference so I bet this is the part that y'all were waiting for. So the part where I share things that are not so great about it. And in my view, there's a few and things that I might say that will change your opinion about, you know, taking this course and I'll just say it, say it like it is. So here we go. So one significant way to learn design is through feedback and critique sessions, which I think Misco's course lacks. Although I don't think it's a major drawback from the actual course content because Misco structures it more as like a step-by-step -step tutorial, which is very different from if it was more like theory-based lectures and a little bit more subjective, right? Where you actually need to have critique and feedback sessions as part of the learning. Now, but having that said though, like if that's what you're looking for, I mean, Misco has set up like an online community around this so you could have these discussions, but I found that it's either the extension of the actual designership community he already has, or it, it literally is the designership community he already has. So it's so broad that I don't know if you're gonna actually get helpful, high quality, actionable feedback if you were to post anything about like a specific project or module through it. Um, now in contrast though, like Shift Nudge by MDS really excels in this area, but it's just structured differently. It's almost like it's structured like a college course where there's specific enrollment periods and then there is an online community, but that community does the class more or less with you at the same time. So if you were to post anything up, you should get really good back and forth. At least I did, um, but it comes at a hefty price. And I think that's part of the reason why it's priced that way, right? So it was like, what, $2,000 or something like that. Now, this one might be a little obvious, but you know, who knows? It might affect some folks, I'll say it. Look, this is a self-paced video course and video only course. So if you're looking for something that has more of like a classroom feel, um, this isn't the course for you. So like uh, Joey Banks' workshops are actually pretty good where it's like a mixture of like, live virtual sessions along with like some video modules and you know he also like stays on for like q a sessions um so if that hybrid kind of approach on like a virtual platform is what you're looking for then yeah i don't know if this course is for you i think one constructive criticism and an area of improvement for misco's course could be like some sort of like feedback library maybe um, kind of like if you were to watch someone's case study be reviewed on like a YouTube video uh, where you kind of see how someone thinks through analyzing and assessing someone's case study. Um, that could be a potential like area of improvement where it could kind of help to see like how other people might try to do things and different ways to troubleshoot things. And that's a good way to learn or possibly even just like a Q&A session, like a frequently asked question about like so-and-so module. If this is really important to you, like again, Shift Nudge by MDS really excels in this area. Like it had a like massive library of feedback videos that MDS has done personally on various projects that were submitted. And I found that to be incredibly helpful because um, everyone approached the problem differently. And I was able to like sit there and watch how MDS breaks down his feedback and what's important, what's not, what's good, what's bad. And it just helped me really hone my like design sensibility. So if you're looking for that, uh, this course doesn't have it, but like a course like Shift Nudge does. So there you have it. That's my full review of Misco's Figma and UI design course. Now thinking back on it, the good, the things that could be improved and everything in between, I'm still very impressed with the level of practical lessons and insights that I took away from it. Now, not just that though, not just the explicit projects and modules that I learned from, but even just watching Misco work in these videos um, was really helpful. I was surprised at how much I learned just from that. But now taking a step back and thinking about you guys, 
the design students, the boot campers, the the career transitioners, just folks who don't have this like visual or graphic design background, or even just junior designers who are starting out in startups and trying to like figure this out, right? Or the freelancers. Now, I really do feel good about saying that I really do think this could help you level up your design skills. And at $300 for the course, I think it's a great value. Now, I feel really good about recommending it that I secured a discount code for you all. You could go through the link in the description below and use my code stewardkim 10 at checkout to get that discount. And I think it'll be even more of a value to you. So give it a think. Drop any questions you have in the comments below. I'll try my best to answer those. Um, and I'd love to know if you decide to take the course. I'd love to know actually even if you decide not to take the course and what else you're looking at. Maybe that's something I should look into as well. So yeah, I did my best to give you my full honest feedback. I really hope it was helpful. I'll see you guys in the next one.